Hello, Western Hills family. My name is Anissa de Mumbrian. I am the wife of Rob de Mumbrian, one of our shepherds at Western Hills. And I'll be honest with you, when David first asked me to do this video, I started thinking about all the reasons why I did not have time to do this devotional. But then I thought, what if God said, Anissa, I am too busy right now to listen to your prayers. Well, we all have many jobs, and one of my jobs is being the middle school principal for sixth through eighth graders at Nashville Christian School. You know, this time of year in school life is very stressful. We're trying to wrap up the year, and, and of course, as many of us know, we're having to do it virtually. I have a wonderful team of teachers and staff that make this happen. We ask them to flip their classrooms overnight and to go to online learning, and not a single one of them complained. As you can imagine, being a principal requires me to wear many hats. One of those hats is somewhat dealing with discipline. I do have a dean of students that works closely with me, um, but we do a lot of the disciplining together. What I get to do a lot of the times is clean up after the consequences have been dealt. This, is, this includes taking students through whatever they did and reflecting on what they did and how can we fix it, and then I get to end it with praying with them. You know, right now, as we well know, we are having to slow down due to restrictions by our government. We hopefully have had time for reflection. Reflection is such an important thing to do. It allows us to learn more about ourselves and to improve ourselves. My reflection recently has been on my prayer life. In 1 Chronicles 14, we find David asking God, Should I attack the Philistines? Will you hand them over to me? And the Lord told him to attack them and that he would hand them over. And God did just that. You know, I read this in my daily reading just a couple of days ago, and I reflected on how I need to seek God's, God's guidance through prayer, both on big tasks, on small tasks, and all in between. And I've tried to do that these last few days, and I want to challenge you to do the same. Prayer is such an essential, essential part of Christian life. Do you ever feel awkward when you pray? I know I do. We may feel like we don't know what to say, or maybe that we're not saying exactly the right thing. There are also times when we feel distracted when we pray. Maybe you start thinking about what you have on the agenda for the day. Sometimes I just start thinking about random things. So what can we do about this? What can we do about getting distracted when we pray? Well, the first thing we can do is remember who we're praying to. You know, we're praying to a perfect God who is our Heavenly Father. He loves us and He is good to us. You know, He is our Father, which should make it easy for us to talk to Him. You know, the second thing we can do is to be sure we are away from normal distractions. If you can, try to step, step away to a quiet place. In the New Testament, we see Jesus finding those quiet places to pray. If Jesus needed to do that, then surely we need to do that as well. And third, when we get distracted when praying, just pause and reset. Don't let this get you down. Just keep going. Now we're going to practice praying the scripture. You know, Rob challenged me to do this a couple of weeks ago. So what you do is you take what you read in the Bible and you personalize it of how you might reword it. Now I'm going to read Psalm 23. The Lord is my shep shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now, as we go back through this, and if I was praying the scripture, this is what it would look like to me. So I want to share that with you. The Lord is my guide. I have everything that I need. He lets me get a good night's sleep 
and takes me places where I feel very relaxed. He makes me feel full of energy. He doesn't allow me to go places that I shouldn't be, and that is for the glory of his kingdom. Even though in the middle of a really strange time in life, I will not be afraid because you are right here with me. Your grace and mercy make me feel secure. You give me every single thing that I possibly need, even during strange times. You tell me I mean a lot to you, and you never leave me without the things that I need. Surely, I know how good and loving you are every day of my life, and someday I will live in heaven with you for eternity. So now, my challenge for you is to read Psalm 23 as if you were praying it, it and what it might sound like. Well, that's all, all for me for today. And I miss everyone. I miss seeing everyone. And I hope you have a blessed day. And I pray that we are back together soon.